Ghana took part in the World Travel Market in November 2013 when a delegation from the Ministry of Tourism, Culture and Creative Arts, led by the Honourable Minister Elizabeth Ofusu Ajari, along with other stakeholders in the Ghana tourism industry, attended the 2014 World Travel Market Fair in London Excel, United Kingdom. The World Travel Market, WTM, is an annual international event which has been running since 1980. The event is aimed at increasing tourism trade deals. The event each year offers countries that attend an opportunity to exhibit and promote their tourism. In Kenya, we are, we are, we are promoting a diverse and unparalleled destination. Uh, as you know, the location of Kenya, which is along the equator, is a very uh, climate-friendly um, place with a lot of scenery, with the best um, of what you can see in terms of wildlife. We are the home of the safari, actually. Safari was born in Kenya, and it means taking a journey. So here at the World Travel Market, we are inviting the world. Uh, this is our first time in World Travel Market, uh, but we have found it very valuable, interesting. Our meetings, according to the appointment, was going through. Uh, so we are uh, happy and we think that uh, the time at this exhibition was successful. And I wish everyone will go back home successful. I think that what we have displayed here today is uh, an improvement and they want to get more people to understand Uganda within the East African destination. Of course, uh, I'm from the Gambia, the Smiling Coast. And when we say Smiling Coast, it means the whole country smiles and we offer beautiful products anybody planning to come to this nation. Over the years, WTM has grown beyond belief and has contributed over £2 billion in industry deals and has more than 5,000 exhibitors from 189 countries and regions and attracts over 50,000 participants. it's been a good experience because many people have come and made inquiries and uh, as regards uh, the exhibition overall exhibition I think uh, some of the pavilions have been done up very beautifully and I think we also can uh, learn from that maybe come back with a better event next year World Travel Market is always a very important venue for us um, this year has been even more important on the, because we're, we're merging what were three brands into one brand. Um, hence, you know, you'll probably notice we've got quite a big impact with what we've got at the show this year. But it's always, it's one of the, one of the higher shows on our calendar to make sure we have a good presence, we meet the trade partners we want to meet, and we do the business we want to meet. It's always a good show for us. got some Colorado beer, which, you know, is uh, pretty amazing stuff. If you'd like to try some, you're welcome to. Um, yeah, we've got more than 200 breweries in Colorado right now making some amazing beer. Um, and it's it tastes even better when you're enjoying it in amongst the uh, Colorado scenery, um, the lovely Rocky Mountains. So it's been a good show, and I hope folks will come visit us in Colorado.
This year, exhibiting at the Ghana stand were representatives from some other operators within the Ghana tourism sector, such as travel agents, hotels, restaurants, and hospitality organizations. For them, the fair gave an opportunity to interact at first hand with visitors and other exhibitors. Present at the Ghana stand was Ghana's Youth Tourism Ambassador, Miss Tourism Ghana 2013, Jessica Jamilian Kara. Also present to promote Ghana were representatives from Ghana's Tourism Authority. The highlight of the fair for the Ghanaian delegation was Ghana Day. The day was set by the fair organizers to allow Ghana to promote itself. Ghana Day was officially opened by Honourable Elizabeth Ofusu Ajare, Minister of Tourism, Culture and Creative Arts, supported by Mr George Finn, Minister of Trade and Investment at the Ghana High Commission UK. We are here as a country to showcase what we have. And for Ghana, we are so sure we can't tell people what we have until they come and see. But for starters, we say that we are in the middle of the world and it's, we are very accessible. There are planes from everywhere to Ghana. When you get to Ghana, what do you have? You meet the friendliest people in the world. That one, not you. We accept everybody, irrespective of your race, your color, your religion, your social inclination. We are there to receive everybody. After our welcome, what again? We have a lot of natural attractions in Ghana. Ecotourism is doing well. You can talk about Kakum walkway. Come and have experiential tourism. We also have some of the most beautiful forts and castles in the world. We have a good investment package for people who want to invest in Ghana, especially in the tourism industry. And I tell you, there's a lot to do. What I can say is that if you put your money in Ghana, you can only be sure of dividends. You can go to sleep because Ghana is a safe place. You can walk from morning to night without turning your back because you are safe. Everybody is a watchkeeper for you. I'm, I'm entreating everybody to come and see Ghana, see all the nice things we have, the good food we have, which we are showcasing now. Good drinks, good snacks, good meals that you can easily eat even though you may not have tasted some before. So I'm inviting the world to Ghana to see what we have. We have capacity to host as many people as are willing to see our country and it's affordable to live there too. Food is good, restaurants, hotels, depending on how much you spend, you want to spend, there is something for everybody in Ghana. So the whole world is invited to Ghana and we are willing and ready to host you. Thank you very much and hope to see you in Ghana. We are exhibiting the things that we have been using to promote the country and we are showcasing our culture. We have over 24 Equatorism products in Ghana and at the moment we are showcasing these products. We do also, we have uh, um, over 450 straight kilometer of um, beach which we are promoting. We have heritage tourism which deals with our roots with slavery and the past and treats. As a result, we have over 60 first and classes along the coast, which we are promoting and which tourists do admire when they come around. You know, I was so excited about the ministerial meeting yesterday. They outlined issues that are actually preventing uh, job creation and, you know, making money out of tourism. And I think it's a good, a good thing that uh, we, we were here to get an insight into what is going on in the tourism worldwide. So I think for that aspect of it, it was very good. With the, with, with the exhibits here, you know, 
uh, that Ghana needs an exposure. We, we have a lot. Unfortunately, this year, I don't think we were able to bring so many things out here, but I think even the little that we've been we, we brought here, you know, it, it's good. It's an exposure for the country, and that you know, we, I'm so excited that people are coming in here looking at what we are doing. And of course, you know, when we hear about Ghana, it's always about something good in, in West Africa. So I think it's a good, a good, a good, a good idea. I think we, we should do it uh, more often around the globe, and probably this one next year we should make it a bit, a bit, a bit uh, bigger than what we have for now. Last year we couldn't come because of the elections and a few problems that came up and so we had to pay a price for that. Definitely, even though the stand is not big, it is an attraction. You can see there are big areas but Ghana, a lot of people are inquiring to know what's the name Ghana. Of course, we also need to expand. I think we need more chairs so that people can come and sit and be able to talk. But the government alone cannot do it. If you go to the other areas, it is the tour operators, the airline operators, you know, the private sector that is really doing it. They come together, they help the authority to be able to expand. In Ghana, it's like it's only the tourism authority. We need to bring this up. And we hope that next year a lot more uh, sponsors will come in. I think we have to do a little more of uh, public relations. We need to reach the people, we need to go to the adverts. We need to let them know the advantages that are bound for them if they attend such programs. Most of the time people think that when I come I'm helping government. But we all know that now, here you go around, private people are getting more, especially a government which thinks that it is a private sector that should lead in the development, that should lead in the creation of jobs. And the tourism sector is one. Income redistribution is so well vexed there. Employment, wherever a tourist goes and spends, the money is left there. So definitely, we're going to tell them the advantages that they are going to get. And we also have to help them by giving them incentives, tax breaks, and also to make it easier for people to visit. Okay, this is about our fifth year of uh, fifth time of participating in World Travel Market. The purpose for our participation this year is to re, um, re uh, meet up with or reinforce contacts we've already made in the past and also look out for new contacts. Okay, we, are, we are broad spectrum to operator. We do um, anything from the time the, um, the guest gets on the plane to the time the guest leaves. So the whole gamut from uh, meet and greet services. We have our own fleet of buses and, and, and um, full-time personnel. We have um, um, we preferred rates for the hotels because of the volume of business we do. We also um, have um, experience and expertise in, in tour services. So we offer you the whole thing from um, tour operations to hotels to transportation to meet and greet services, meals, everything, the whole package, the whole. I went to South Africa and Nelson Mandela's house. It's a beautiful tourist attraction. Why not Ghana? That's exactly what we are doing now. So now if you go to Nkrofo, Kwame Nkrumah's house is there and you're trying to show the whole, uh, like showing Ghanaians that it's a place to visit. Izulezu is just wonderful. So we did this on TV to show people that that is there. It's on the internet and then uh, it's in the print media as well. These are some of the things we do to promote uh, domestic tourism. Again, we sponsor schools from uh, different regions to attend at, uh, to visit another region. So, for example, we sponsor uh, students from Ashanti region to come and see the Greater Accra region, Greater Accra region to see the Northern region. These are some of the things that we do, and we are encouraging churches to also try and then uh, visit other places during their spare time. Internationally, now you see the world is a global village. Thankfully. So we are on the net and we are selling ourselves. And we are also trying to uh, have other international media to uh, 
try and then sell Ghana.